There are four main types of produced reservoirs in the United States today. In this video, we're going to take a high-level trip through the flow path of each type to explore the commonly used vessels and equipment. Standard oil reservoirs contain mostly crude oil with minimal amounts of water and gas. Standard oil reservoirs will generally have two stages of separation. The first stage will happen in a free water knockout. In this vessel, retention time will allow the natural specific gravities to start separating the oil, water, and gas from each other. As they exit the vessel, the water is piped to storage, where it will eventually be disposed of. The gas is piped to either a sales line via a meter run or combustion line. The second stage of separation for an oil reservoir will typically happen in a heater treater. In this vessel, heat is used to accelerate the separation process and continue refining the produced emulsion into its three components. As they exit the heater treater, the water is again piped to storage. The gas will either travel to a sales line through a meter run or is destroyed in a combustor if quality parameters are not being met by the producer. The oil will continue to either a lease automatic custody transfer or lacked unit or storage to await midstream transportation. Volatile oil reservoirs contain high amounts of corrosive gas in addition to oil and water. This type of reservoir will follow the same flow path as standard oil reservoirs, except for the gas. The gas in volatile oil well streams is highly corrosive. Because of this, it must be sent through an additional gas treatment process in a chemical gas conditioning tower or aiming unit. These vessels are designed to absorb unwanted elements from the acidic gas. From there, the gas will go to a filter separator to remove any chemical carryover and then go back to the gas sales line. An important consideration for producers operating a volatile oil reservoirs is the materials in their vessels, piping, and valves. It is recommended to specify corrosive resistant materials to prevent premature wear due to the corrosive gas present in these types of well streams. Dry gas reservoirs produce mostly natural gas with some water vapor. This type of reservoir will first go through a gas production unit, or GPU. This vessel incorporates a line heater and a separator into one unit and separates the gas from the liquid. When leaving the GPU, the separated water will go to storage for later transportation and disposal. The condensate, which is the very light, valuable liquid hydrocarbon, will go to storage and be sold to a midstream company. The gas will exit the GPU and if conditions are correct and the pressure is already high enough, it will continue directly into a sales line. If the water content of the gas is too high, a large scrubber is used to remove the additional liquids and further clean the gas before it travels into a sales line. If further separation is needed, it will flow into a gas dehydration unit either at individual well locations or at a central facility before returning to the sales line. If the quality of the gas is acceptable, but the pressure is too low, a compressor will be used to increase the pressure before it is sent downstream into a sales line. Gas condensate reservoirs will follow the same path as the dry gas reservoirs except for the condensate. Because of the large amounts of condensate these reservoirs produce, the liquid condensate will go into a low pressure separator in order to further separate it from the gas. The condensate will go to storage and the gas will go into a sales line. We have videos of most of these vessels where you can learn how they work in more detail and what Kimray products you'll find at each location. Check out our YouTube playlist for more training and information and contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor with any questions.